pam 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 oh hi everybody hello come on in I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for your patience while we were getting up and running. We had some technical difficulties, but it's nice to see you're keeping yourself busy during the wait. Some of our friends are having a dance party, Oliver and Lila and Eleanor folding some laundry, helping clean up. That's really great. Well, I'm so glad you're here now, everybody. And oh, I'm sorry, it's such a mess. The classroom's a bit messy today and I was trying to get it all cleaned up before you got here. But, hey, now that you're here, why don't you help me clean up the classroom? It'll be a lot more fun if we do it all together. What do you think? Will you help me clean up Lily in Ohio? What do you think, Lachlan and Lewis in Utah? Can you help me clean up the classroom? Yes? Yay, thank you so much. You're all such great friends. Okay, before we start cleaning up, let's give all of our friends watching a big hello. I'd love to know what your names are. So when I sing, my name is Katie, you can sing, my name is, and then shout it out nice and loud, okay? Here we go. We'll wave to all of our friends. Hooray! Here we go. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. My name is... Shout it out nice and loud, everybody. Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, let's say hello to some of our friends watching today. Hello, hello, hello to Josiah and Grayson. Hello, hello, hello to Liliana and Timmy from Indiana. My name is Katie. My name is... What is it? Shout it out nice and loud. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice to see everybody. Sage, hello. Josie and Jonathan in Arkansas. And I think I meant to say Lania or Lania from Indiana. And I think I said something completely different. But a big hello to you. I'm so glad that you're here. And yeah, this classroom is a real mess, isn't it? There's pom poms and sand here on the desk, paint bottles everywhere. It's going to be a big job to clean it up. But I know something that will make it be a little bit more fun. How about we turn it into a race? Yeah, we'll still do a really good job. We'll just do it as fast as we can. Do you think we can do it in 10 seconds? Ooh, that might be a little tricky. Let's practice counting down from 10. We can see the number 10 in the window. We'll follow along with the timer. It'll start when we say go. Are you ready? Get your 10 fingers ready to count down. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Whew. 10 seconds is not a lot of time. We're going to have our work cut out for us. But let's start with the pom-poms. Let's try that. We'll clean up the pom-poms and the buttons and the feathers. We'll put them all back in the right containers here. And we'll see if we can do it in 10 seconds. Do you think we can do that? Let's try, everybody. Let's say ready, set, go all together and we'll clean it up. Evie and Clarkie are ready. Isabella, Charlie, and Oliver. Let's go. Ready, set, Go! Okay, pom-poms in here. Ooh. Fast, 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 fast. Buttons, pom-poms, feathers. Ta-da! One last feather. Whew. That was a close one. We did it. We cleaned up all of the pom-poms, feathers, and buttons. I'm going to put them down here. That's where they belong. Well, now we have all the sand on the desk. Hmm. We'll clean up the sand with this little broom here. And do you think we can do that in 10 seconds? 
This one might be a tricky one. Let's give it a try, everybody. Willow's ready. Penelope says mama will clean. Sometimes it's nice to help. It could be really fun. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep it all up. We can do it. And then it's gotta go back inside this container. Oh, so close. Ah, oh, that was amazing. I'm actually very impressed with ourselves. We cleaned it all up in 10 seconds. Excellent. We'll put the sand back where it belongs. We'll put this away too. Our desk is nice and clean. What else do we have to clean in the classroom? Do you see anything else? Oh, all of the paint bottles are everywhere. Do you think we can clean the paint bottles up in 10 seconds? That one might be a really tricky one. We're still gonna have to do a good job. We'll just go as fast as we can. Oh, Lily's picking up her toys along with us. That's a great idea to clean along with me. We're gonna put all the paint bottles on these shelves, okay? Ready, set, go. Here we go, okay. Still gotta do a good job. Put them all on there, just really fast. Almost there. Ta-da! We did it, we got all the paint bottles on there. Oh wait, oh there's a spot still here. Are we missing a paint bottle? Where could the paint bottle be? Do you see it? Where's that paint bottle? Hmm, we're still missing one. Do you see it anywhere? Uh, oh, the orange one? Oh yeah, there it is. Thanks everybody, we got it. The final paint bottle. Hooray! Give yourselves a big clap for all that great cleaning. Sometimes after cleaning up, I feel like I need to wash my hands. Sometimes they feel really dirty. It's important to clean ourselves too. And we should be counting when we wash our hands as well so that we make sure they're really clean. At least 20 seconds. That's it, the number 20. I'll show you. So I have a little sink of warm water, some soap and a towel here. There we go. And we're gonna wash our hands for 20 seconds. You can pretend to wash along with me. So we'll get them nice and wet, get our soap, and we're gonna scrub the soap all over our hands for 20 seconds. Put that there, we got lots of soap on our hands. Scrub with me and we'll count up to 20. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hooray! Now we know they're nice and clean, so we'll rinse them off. Give them a nice big rinse in the nice warm water. That feels nice. Get all that soap off, and we'll dry them off on the clean towel. There we go, and our hands are nice and clean. Eliza and Cora love washing their hands. It's important that we do it for at least 20 seconds so we get all those germs away. And then they're so clean and they smell nice too. Oh, and they're soft, that's really nice. Sometimes when I'm washing my hands, I like to sing a song that I know is at least 20 seconds and that way I know I'm washing them for long enough. It's really fun to sing songs when you're cleaning up around the house too. Is there something that you like to do when you clean up around the house? I know Steven and Detalina, they like cleaning the windows and the mirrors. That's a really fun thing to do. Next time you try cleaning up around the house, try singing a cleanup song. I, this is one of my favorite cleanup songs. Let's sing it all together and you can let me know some things that you clean up around the house. Maybe you pick up your toys, maybe you pick up your clothes. And we'll try this song all together. Here we go, everybody. The cleanup song. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your things away. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. 
put your things away. Eleanor cleans laundry and her toys. That's a great thing to do. Penelope loves loading and emptying the dishwasher. Way to go, Penelope. Liam says he cleans up his room every day. And Elion loves washing her hands. That's great. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your things away. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your things away. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Put your things away. Pick up your toys. Pick up your books. Pick up your shoes. Put your things away. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Put your things away. Josiah cleans up his toys and Owen help sort laundry. Adam and Noah clean up the table after they finish eating. Lexi cleans up her toys every night before bed. Caitlin likes to clean up her tea party and dinosaurs. Great work, everybody. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your things away. Put your things away. Nice job, everyone. Give yourselves a big clap. Uh, it's so nice to hear that you're all cleaning up at home. Eden makes her bed and puts her dollies away. Eden loves to sweep. Me too, Eden. That's one of my favorite chores to do. Oh, I almost forgot. One really important part of cleaning up is taking out the garbage. Yeah, when the garbage gets really full, we got to pick it up and take it out. Then a garbage truck comes. Vroom, vroom. It drives around to all the houses, picks up the garbage, and takes it away. Yeah, garbage trucks are really neat trucks, aren't they? They can fit a lot of garbage in there. Let's play garbage truck together. We'll drive our garbage truck around the neighborhood and pick up all our friends' garbage. We'll just clean up this part here. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up, clean up, clean up. Put your things away. And here is our neighborhood. <clears throat> I got a little tickle in my throat today, everybody. Here we go. Look at all the garbage waiting to be picked up with our big garbage truck. Let's go. This is the way to the dump. So that's the way the garbage truck will come. Vroom, vroom. Here we go, everybody. Vroom, vroom. Got to pick up this garbage. There we go. And take it away. Yeah, this is so fun. Uh-oh. Look. Duck crossing. Got to wait for the ducks. Quack, 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 quack. Even garbage trucks have to wait for the ducks to cross. <laughs> Let's keep going. Here we go. Let's go this way. All the way around. Vroom, vroom. Turn. Let's go this way. Look. One, two, three buildings and one, two, three garbage, garbage bags. There we go. We'll pick it all up and take it away. Let's keep going. More houses to visit. Cole sees Mr. Monkey. There he is. Oh, and look at this. Those are wind turbines. They give a clean alternative to energy. More clean things. That's so great. Keep turning, truck. We got another big bag here of garbage we'll take away. A big bag here of garbage we'll take away. Another big bag here of garbage. All taking it away. Oh, our garbage truck's going to have to do a big turn around. There we go. Oh, and look at this. This house has a bicycle. A bicycle is a clean choice instead of driving. There's clean things all over the place. Lots of ways to be clean. Let's keep going, truck. Vroom, vroom, back this way. We're gonna have to go pick up these garbage bags. Here we go, let's turn. Vroom, 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 vroom. One more garbage bag, another garbage bag. Let's take it away. 
Let's go back over this way. We'll pick up this garbage. There we go. And look, this house has a compost bin. Have any of you seen a compost bin before? That means that they're using some of their garbage to make healthy soil to grow more food. Isn't that great? And we have a post up on our blog right now all about using old food to make new food. You can check it out. There's a link below, I think. Let's go this way. We got more garbage to pick up. One more garbage. Whoop. There we go. Oh, look, this house put out their recycle. Recycling is a really great thing to do, but another truck's going to come around for that guy. Did we get all of the garbage bins? I think we did. Off we go, garbage truck. Vroom, vroom, vroom. We did it. Hooray, we picked up all of the garbage with our trusty garbage truck. Hmm. You know, I bet garbage trucks, they must get really dirty picking up everybody else's garbage. They must have to get cleaned sometimes too. You know, I bet Carl at Carl's Car Wash would know exactly what to do with a dirty big garbage truck. Let's take a visit to Carl's Car Wash and see what he does when a dirty garbage truck comes to visit. Let's go. All right, it's pickup time. Huh? I think it's stuck. Uh oh, yikes! Better make a trip to Carl's car wash. Oh, that's the last of the garbage. And just in time, there's Gus's garbage truck. Whoa, Gus, your garbage truck is trashed. Tell me about it, Carl. Can you wash her up? I think so. Now, let's see. What type of vehicle? Fire truck? Garbage truck? Or tractor? That's it. Garbage truck. Let's see how messy it is. A little messy? Medium messy? Super duper messy? <laughs> Even for a garbage truck, that's super duper messy. <laughs> now, what is this? It's a big garbage salad with a side of smelly dressing. Ugh. Is it orange peels? Is it fish? Is it banana peels? It's all of those and more. That'll be seven tokens, Gus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
My garbage truck never looked so good. You're welcome. Smell you later. Gus, you forgot to take my garbage. Oh, man. <laughs> Carl did such a great job cleaning that garbage truck, didn't he? He always knows what to do. And if you want to see some more dirty cars getting washed, there's lots more episodes of Carl's Car Wash over at the Super Simple TV YouTube channel, so you can go and check them out. Asriel says, it's the biggest car wash in the world. It is pretty big. Well, look at this car I have here, this big yellow car. It looks pretty clean, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, let's make it all dirty, and then we can take it through a car wash of our own. Want to give it a try? Here. Let's drive our yellow car in the mud. Look at all this mud we have here. We'll get our yellow car really dirty. Here we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. There it goes. Some big circles. It's a sports car. That's right, Wesley. Let's drive it all around. Some big circle eights. Oh, its tires are getting all muddy. How about some mud splatter? <laughs> Look how dirty this car is. Vroom, 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 vroom. It's getting all dirty. Ethan says it looks like a bumblebee now that it's yellow with some spots, yeah. Vroom, 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 vroom. Wah. Really dirty, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wow. This car is so dirty now, it's dripping with all that mud. It definitely needs to go to the car wash. Jack says now it's a brown car. Let's take this car over to the car wash, everybody. Look at this car wash I made. Ta-da! I made it out of an old plastic container that I wasn't using anymore. Isn't it neat? It's got soap on the sponges. Look at that. And this goes round and round to clean it and big things to dry it. I think our car needs to go to the car wash. Here it comes. Dirty car. Vroom. Inside the car wash. There you go. Now it needs to get washed with all the soap. Get all the nice soap in there. Soap, 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 soap. It's going to need to get sprayed down, don't you think? Get some water on that car. There we go. Spray, spray, spray. Look at that. The soap and water is working. There it goes. <laughs> Gotta get all that dirt off. More soap. Soap, 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 soap. Soap, 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 soap. Oh, I'm glad you like this car wash, Edison. There we go. Let's get all out. All right, let's move this car along. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Now it needs to get washed on top. Let's put some more water on it, get it all nice and clean. There we go. Let's spray some water, a big spray. Like this, yeah. A nice big rinse off. There we go. Some of my favorite parts about car wash is the bubbles too. I love all the bubbles. Spray, spray, spray. Still some dirt back here. Gotta get it all off. There we go. Let's wash off the top. And the side, we got more soap over there. There we go. Looking good. Now it's gotta go through the dryer. Here we go. Through the drying part. Dry off this car. Whoosh. I'll give it one more big dry. Dry down. There we go. Look at that! Now our car is nice and clean again. No more brown guck on our nice clean car. Look how shiny it is. That car wash really works. Squeaky clean, says Penelope. It's true. Adam and Noah say they love going through the car wash. Did you like a yellow car? Yes, our yellow car loved going through the car wash. That was really fun. It's nice to keep things clean. Things like our toys and oh, things in our community, like our parks. That's really important too. 
It's never nice to see garbage on the ground at the park. Mm -mm. So I went to my favorite park and I helped clean up in a community cleanup. Let's take a little field trip to my community park cleanup, everybody. Oof, look at all the garbage in the park. Oh, that's not where garbage should go. Hey, I have an idea. I'll clean it up. I can make this part clean again with some gloves and a garbage bag. Here we go. Almost done. Whew, that was a lot of garbage. All cleaned up. Into the garbage bin where it belongs. Ta-da! Now it's nice and clean for us to play. And for the animals to enjoy. And the bugs. And the plants. Garbage doesn't belong in our parks, where plants and trees should grow, or in rivers and oceans. It's up to us to make sure it stays out. We can make a difference, making the world a little cleaner for everyone and everything. Parks are always better when they're garbage free and nice and green. Don't you agree? A little bit of a rhyme. Miriam from Saudi Arabia says she loves cleaning the park with her dad. And Lachlan and Lewis collect soda cans with their dad to recycle them. That's a great idea. Calvin wants to know if he can help. Well, you know, there might be some community cleanups where you are in your area. So you can always check that out and help to clean up in the park. But if you ever go to clean up outside, always make sure that you're wearing gloves and that you talk to a grown up before you pick anything up off of the ground. That's really important. So safety first, everybody, if you're going to go clean up outside. Another really important thing to do is to recycle. That will help get rid of some of our garbage. Lachlan and Louise go around to collect so soda cans so that they can recycle them and that's a really great idea. So recycle means to use again. And one of my favorite ways to use something again is by upcycling it with a craft like this one. Check this out. I made this all with things that I could have just thrown out. Things like plastic straws, this is bubble wrap and this cardboard box. And these fish, these fancy fish are made out of CDs. Isn't that neat? I'll show you how I made it, everybody. Your mom and dad might have some, some CDs lying around. We don't really use them anymore. So it's good to do something different with them. So to start our fancy CD fish, we're gonna use a marker and just draw a little decoration. You can draw some gills on your fish, some scales. I'm gonna draw some polka dots here. I'm gonna have a polka dotted purple fish. Look at that. It might be a little hard to see right now because of all the light shining on the CD. It makes it kind of look like a rainbow, doesn't it? Yeah, really cool. I'm gonna make lots of little circles all around. This is gonna be a funny fish. A funny purple fish. There we go. Some here. Some there. Some little ones. Nice. And you can just use any sort of marker. A permanent marker works best. There we go. We have our CD all decorated for our fish. 
Let's see if you can see it a little bit. I'll try and maybe... It's kind of tricky to see. It looks like a beautiful rainbow. That looks really cool. Okay, so now we're going to use some tissue paper that I cut into rectangles. And they're going to be the fins of our fish. You can use any color tissue paper you like. Just cut them into a rectangle. And now we're going to accordion fold them back and forth like this. And this part can be maybe a little tricky. But it's really fun to try. I love accordion folding all sorts of things. Fold it like that. How about this one could be our back tail. Our tail in the back. I guess the tail is always in the back. So we're just going to tape it on the back like that. Really easy, isn't it? Take some tape. Ta-da! It's a great way to make something that we don't use anymore. Something nice and shiny new. How about this one will be our fin on top. Oh, Ethan says he wants to try and make a baby shark. You can make a baby shark CD craft. That would be really cool. We have lots more details on how to make these CD fish on our blog. So if you want some more step-by-step -step instructions, there's a link below and that'll take you to the post where you can learn a little bit more on how to make it. This one will be our fin on top. I think that'll be really nice. Just swish it all up and tape it on. Really easy. There you go. Rosabelle from Ottawa says the eyes are missing. It's true. We're going to add on that eye in a little bit. So this one is going to be our big fin going through the circle of our CD. We'll give it a try. It goes right through like this. All the way through. Ta-da! There we go. And then we'll just tape that one down too. Then we'll take a look at our fish. Can't wait to see it. Everly says she loves fish. Everly loves fish. Okay, we're gonna... Then you take the tissue paper and just spread it out a little bit. Make it look real nice. Then you can take some scissors and maybe just cut a little pattern. You can just cut all the way across make some rough edges for your fishy fins. There you go. How about here? We'll go all the way down like this. Ta-da! Look at that fish! Looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. But Rosabelle is right. The eye is missing. We're going to need to add the eye right here. But before we add the eye, let's make some fishy lips. Mmm, it's like this. Can you make some fishy lips? To make our fishy lips, we're going to make a big heart shape. Well, that might be too big. Let's try the other side. We'll make a heart shape like this. And just keep an extra tail on our heart so we have a place to tape it down. We'll cut it out real quick. Those are going to be our fishy lips. Can you try and make fishy lips with your mouth? Fishy lips. Those are fun to try and make. There we go. Ta-da! Then we're just going to tape it on the back like that. That's going to be our fishy mouth. I like it. Looks kind of silly. There we go. Ta-da! And Lexi, you're right. It still needs an eye. Okay. We're going to turn this fish into a fish with an eye. We're going to put some glue on this eyeball. We'll put it right there. Ta-da! Look at that beautiful fishy. There it goes, swimming around. Zoe loves fish kisses. Here's a fish kiss. There you go. Really neat. We have all sorts of ideas to upcycle things in your house and make a craft on our blog. Like this, this is another idea. These flowers are made out of plastic bottles. Isn't that amazing? And they're so beautiful. So much better than throwing the plastic bottles out, isn't it? Yeah. If you try making any of these upcycle crafts, we'd love to see your creations. So make sure to share them on Instagram and use the hashtag Katie's Classroom so that we can see what you're up to at home. Let's take a look at some photos from our friends of what they were up to last week. Let's see. This is our friend Opal from the USA. Opal's watching our B episode. That was last week and that was one of my favorite activities from that episode. 
This is our friend Lucas from Abu Dhabi, and he made, look, the rock bugs from our bug episode. Those turned out really great, Lucas. Thank you so much for sharing those photos, everybody. And we have something very special to celebrate, a very special birthday. Happy birthday to our friend Jasper in Canada, who turned three this week. There's Jasper celebrating in the park. Park looks nice and clean. Happy birthday, Jasper, and a big happy birthday to all of our friends who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Now, next week, we are going to be celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving. I'm so excited, and I hope that you will come and celebrate with me. We're going to be playing this Thanksgiving bingo game, and I would love it if you would play along with me. So to play along, we have a link in the description below. Just click on the Thanksgiving bingo link. Download and print out the Thanksgiving Bingo Game Board. It looks like this. And then tune in next week, same time, Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so you can play along with me during the live show. Wouldn't that be fun? I hope to see you next week to celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving. I cannot wait. Oh, a big happy birthday to Caitlin, who turned three, too. I hope you had a great birthday celebration. Well, friends, we did a lot in the classroom today, didn't we? Thank you so much for helping me clean up. It feels so nice to clean everything. We have clean toys, clean parks, clean hands. Let's use our clean hands to give a big wave goodbye to all of our friends. We'll sing one more time and give a big wave. A very happy birthday to Adam. It's Adam's birthday today. Happy birthday, Adam. All right, everyone, are your clean hands ready to give a big wave goodbye? Let's see some big waves. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Jocelyn and Owen. Goodbye to Ethan. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, Evie. Goodbye to Lachlan and Lewis, Jake and Lexi, and our friend Sage. Sage. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Isabella from Guatemala. Grayson from Canada, Rukia, Caleb from Atlanta, Angelise from Spain, Donnie and Leo from the USA, and Abigail and Charlotte from the USA. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Arthur from Natal, Brazil, our friend Violet and Caitlin in Arizona. Goodbye to Edison and Eleanor in Nebraska, Jack and Cole in Virginia, our good pals. Antonio from Colombia, Eliza from Brazil, Talia from Dubai, and Benjamin from Ecuador. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Faid and Mommy from Brazil. Goodbye to Wesley, Camilla, and Carlos. We'll see you next time. Goodbye to Presley. Goodbye to Alexis, Ariana, and Baby Joseph. A big wave to you. Goodbye to Owen from Atlanta and Robin. Goodbye to Sari from Chile. Sara? Sara from Chile. I hope I said your name right. Goodbye to Adam. And a big happy birthday to Adam again. Goodbye to Freya from Alabama, Emily and Virginia, Eliam from Mexico City. Goodbye to Daenerys. I hope I said your name right. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Emily's pre-kindergarten class, a whole class watching. Big goodbye to you. Goodbye to my Manya from Houston, Texas. Matei from Brazil. Goodbye to, oh, I'm so glad. Goodbye to Roxy from Mexico. Gianna and Alina from Florida. Robin in Canada, our friends in Chile and France and all over the world. We'll see you next week, everybody. Let's wave one more time. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thanks for your help cleaning up. See you soon.